from coach and then we'll open up for questions. Yeah, um, you know, first and foremost, obviously a lot of credit to Coach Sweeney and his football team. Um, you know, I know that was a great win for them and certainly for Coach, I know in his career, getting his 150th win, so, so really happy for him. I, I, I will say this about our team, though, um, who we are, what we're about, what we stand for, I couldn't be prouder. Um, you know, I know we didn't make a couple plays to finish what we, what we wanted to do off, but the, how our kids played, you know, we, we were without some key football players and the guts of our kids to continue to fight even down 20 to three and have a chance to go in in the last drive. I think it says everything about what our team and what this program's about. Um, you know, we came up short a couple times this year and I think we'll continue to take the lessons we've learned and obviously grow from it. But uh, who we are, where we are and what we're about right now, I'm really proud of. All right, we'll open up for questions. Starting up front row on the right. Raise your hand, we'll get a mic to you. Uh, Kyle Nash, the three-point conversion. Uh, Coach, um, what can you say for your defense? I mean, their highest scoring player on the night is their kicker uh, overall. So um, go ahead and talk a bit to the defense, what you feel like they did well this evening. Yeah, you know, I, I think certainly situationally, we were able to, you know, really do a great job, obviously, from, from our end of it. We knew we wanted to play a style of game to allow our defense to kind of give us the best opportunity to win the football game. And I think collectively, offensively, defensively, and special teams, we played to our strength tonight. And, you know, our defense really gave us every opportunity to be where we wanted to be, when we wanted to be there in the football game. And um, hats off to our kids on that side of the ball. Really hats off to all of our kids because we played the style of football game we needed to play to be able to win the game. Go over on the left. Matt, Scott Docterman with The Athletic. I wanted to ask about Brock and maybe what, what you said to him um, maybe after the game immediately and then how do you kind of encapsulate his career and what he's meant to your program? Yeah, you know, I mean, Scott, just, uh, you know, for me, a result doesn't dictate what Brock Purdy has done for Iowa State football. You know, I, I think Brock, again, there was a lot of plays he did make out there today that were huge for our team to get back in the football game. You know, I, I think from Brock's standpoint, obviously, you know, there's no greater competitor that I've been around that wanted the result to be different than it was. But, you know, for Brock, as I said two days ago, it's thank you. Thank you for all you've done. Thank you for how you've led. And thank you for giving belief to this football program that hasn't been there for a long time. Matt, their defense has been doing tonight what they or did tonight with all year long. What it, seeing it up close, what made life so difficult offensively against that defense? Yeah, you know, I, 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 to be honest with you, you know, and, and give a lot of credit to them on defense. You know, I, I didn't feel like you know we were so out of rhythm at times. You know, I, I felt like we were able to do some things that we wanted to do against them defensively. I think when you look at it, some of the precision and detail on that side of the ball was maybe a hair off when we needed it. And so, um, you know, I thought <laughs> I'll be be honest with you. I thought our young offensive line it was great. Tyler Miller, his first start of his career, I thought played really well. Trevor Downing, I thought played exceptional. Um, at center. So I think there was a, I'll be honest with you, you know, Jalen Knowles' best game of his career, you know, it was great to see Sean Shaw play. So, you know, a lot of guys, young guys that we're going to need to see step up and have great careers moving forward. I thought, you know, against an elite defense, it was really fun to watch those guys go compete. Situation tonight? Yeah, you know, I, I think Mike just really trying to get back to full health, and you know, he wasn't there yet, and so, um, you know, for the situation for Michael was, you know, the best interest for him to to kind of get himself back to full strength as he's got some opportunities coming down the road. Greg, um, um, Iowa State hung with, you know, was a few plays from beating the most blue blood opponent Iowa State program has ever played, has ever faced. What's, ha what's enabled Iowa State to come this far from the day you got here, for example? Yeah, uh, you know, I think it speaks volumes on this program and the trajectory we're going. Um, you know, we earned our way here, uh, and that's what, I, that's what I told those guys in there. And I'm proud of y'all, and be proud to wear the Iowa State logo, um, because for a while, some people weren't that proud to wear the logo. And we've put ourselves in these situations, and we're going to be here for a long time. And um, I'm forever thankful for those guys and the season and the life lessons that I've learned through this journey, wins and losses. Like, this game will live in my head for the rest of my life. And that'll be something I'm forever grateful for because there's lessons from that. There's lessons to be learned in all of this. And that's the great thing about college football, and that's the great thing about 
being surrounded by coaching staff and players that love and care about each other. And you know that they always have your back. Stay on the left, a couple rows back. Matt, all season you've talked about the senior class taking every moment to enjoy this last year together. When you get a chance to reflect on it, what do you think is going to stand out most about this group and um, as you transition into January? Yeah, I, I think what this group will forever be remembered for in my mind is really, I know I talked a lot about it after the last game against TCU, but I think really simply put two ways. Every time that we and everybody expected us to fall, our seniors stood and they led. Every time that, man, it would have been easy for them to build a wall and kind of, man, isolate themselves and say, you know what, it's about me. They built a bridge and they said, man, how do I reach back and help guide the future of this program? And to me, you know, I think one of the great lessons that we've learned from this group is, man, life is about the crossroads. And when the crossroads of life come your way, you can either run from it or you can run into it and never back down. And to me, the lessons that they've left over the last four to five years are as powerful as anything I've ever been. It's changed, it's helped guide my own life. I think it's helped guide what my purpose is. And quite honestly, I think it's, it's inspired the future of our football program. And there's a lot of you guys in here that understand what the, what the past of Iowa State football really stood for. And Greg's right. Like, there's a lot of people when I got here that were embarrassed to wear an Iowa State shirt, an Iowa State hat around. And now it's a sense of pride. Now we're coming. Now there's, we're not perfect. And it isn't, it's not going to be easy. And it's going to keep getting harder. But this group's taught us to stay the course. This group's taught us to believe. And they've showed us what it's going to take to get it done. And, you know, what it's going to take isn't easy. But you better be willing to go the, stay the course to get it done. So we're really appreciative of each and every one of them. Staying in the same row on the left. Matt, what do you think the, the story of the 2021 season is? Whew. Yeah, you know, I, I think you, you guys will probably write that story, I'm sure, however you want to write it. Um, you know, at the end of the day, you can write whatever you want. I think in my mind, it's all about what we believe in our locker room and what we saw. Now, if, we're, if we are going to be honest about results, we fell short. And those are things that that's my responsibility and our staff's responsibility to continue to dig deep. And how do we close some of those small margins that existed? What are you talking? Maybe five losses that all ended on the last possession of a football game. And so I think it's easy. You can go down any wormhole you maybe want to try to go down or you look at the reality of where we are and what it's going to take. And I think what it's going to take is we've always lived in the margins here. I think what this season really taught us is exactly who we are. Um, what, we, what we have to do is we have to win with detail. We have to win with precision. We're going to play a lot of really close football games. And if you, I've always said in football, it's not about luck. <laughs> you create your own luck in our sport. And creating that is in precision and detail. And we've got to be better there. And that starts with the head football coach. All right. One more row up on the left. Yeah, Matt, um, you had three offensive players play really key positions stepping in, uh, Jalen Knoll, um, Jirel Brock, and then Miller at left tackle. How do you think they performed, and can those three uh, in particular form a nucleus for what you want to do going forward? Do they have that kind of ability? Boy, you know, Scott, I think from my end, this last three to four weeks for us in our program, and maybe Randy had asked us, you know, two days ago about, man, what was the bowl experience? What were you trying to get out of it? And for us, this has been a huge stepping stone, in my opinion. You know, we knew we were going to have some guys down. Downing moved to center, which is kind of his natural position. Um, and, you know, I think what we saw is we got some guys to where we wanted them to be. We got some guys with incredible experience. You know, when you have X coming back and then Jalen, you know, played the way he played, Sean Shaw coming off of surgery midway through the season, getting him back. Um, I think all those things really positive from an offensive standpoint. We think Tyler Miller's got a chance to be exceptional to go against play those two defensive ends and against that defensive front and really play a pretty good football game. I think those things are really exciting. I think on the flip side, you know, you see Orion Vance, you know, we, we have a really good feeling that Orion's going to come back for, for another year, which is huge for us and Will McDonald. So we're, we're, we're not going away, you know, we're, we're strengthening. And I think one of the ways we were able to strengthen ourselves was to really use the last three to four weeks, get ourselves aligned and get ourselves ready to continue to come back in January and really 
trudge ourselves forward. So, um, you know, I think we were able to make some really positive moves and really gain some great experience tonight in some positive ways as well. We're going to go over on the right. Greg, did uh, you or any of the other leaders on the defense say anything, you know, when it was uh, 20 to 6 and say, you know, guys, we're still in this, you know, like we make some plays, we get back in it. And uh, kind of what was that message? Yeah, it's been, uh, <clears throat> it was keep fighting. And that's all we know how to do. We've been in that situation before. Um, so that's, that's kind of where we thrive. Um, we knew <clears throat> a lot of it was some of our mistakes. Uh, we knew how to correct them. So it was just, you know, just keep playing, keep fighting, and uh, you know, let the chips fall where they may. All right, back over on the left front row. Matt, you talked a lot about the young guys offensively, but you started two freshmen tonight. What can you talk about that side of the ball and the youth there? On you're saying on, on defense. On defense, you know, yeah, you know, I think Bo Freiler and Greg can talk a lot about those guys because Greg's been really the mentor to both both of those young guys. You know, at the safety position, to be quite honest with you, Craig McDonald's had a great season. Um, really over the last six weeks, I think, has really come on and played great football for us. Um, you know, Bo Freiler, Bo Freiler's an all-conference Big 12 football player, is a true freshman. You know, I, I mean, I think he's got as special of an upside as, as maybe a young guy that we've had in our program that's come in here. And, and what he's done for us has been nothing short of exceptional, you know. And, and then you look in that defensive front, you know, a lot of young guys getting really valuable experience, continue to play well. J.R. Singleton, who really started the season off well for us, had a knee sur had knee surgery. You know, we lost him for a little while, but for him to come back and play his best game of this season against you know a really good, for good really good football team, really good. I think we're really excited about what the future holds on the defensive side as well with those young freshmen. All right. Any other questions for Iowa State? All right, gentlemen. Thank you for your time.